Seventh Planet Broadcasting, Headlines with a Brain, with your host, Gerald Clark. Headline news with a brain, where Big G disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode. Greetings all, this is Gerald Clark with Headlines with a Brain, episode number three. Welcome back. Uh, before we get started today, I wanted to announce that uh, we now have my first book. For those that didn't know, I was the author of The Anunnaki of Nibiru, now available in Spanish in paperback and also available as an audio book from our website. And those will be posted in the description so you can get to them. Today I wanted to share something really kind of crazy with you. A lot of you know that I play around with animations and cartoons and things like that. And one of the things I discovered is that in that space that eventually as a digital avatar gets so good that the actors uh, might be in trouble and that anybody could do the, the script, the voice, and then add it to a character. So I wanted to share a little bit with you what's going on in the, in the marketplace relative to that. Um, and I'm going to jump off the video here to do that. It's called uh, Zhao. It was developed in China. And essentially you can take a single uh, selfie, upload it with your Android phone, and then upload it to predefined video clips that they have right now that probably have a facial, ma facial mask on it that then takes your face, puts it on there, and makes you look like you're animating Leonardo DiCaprio or puts your face on it or whatever. So, the idea that you can take a video and put your face in it uh, is really uh, an AI nightmare for the video industry and people that could be made to say and do things on a video that they didn't really do. So um, let's get into that real quick and I'll share with you where some of that technology is and where it crosses over with uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing working with a couple of the engines that support this, okay? Let's take a look at this um, article titled New Easy to Use Deep Fake App Means Anyone Can Create Convincing Fake News Videos. Not just news videos. A uh, company's name is Zhao. They can place anyone inside their favorite movie based on a single selfie. Okay, so this is a real concern for actors and other people that might get their privacy infringed upon by somebody faking a video with them in it. Here's uh, making deep fake porn to be as easy as using Instagram filters very soon. Okay, so here's a, a video, I'll let you guys watch it, where somebody morphs using the app uh, from a clip showing Tom Cru showing them morphing to Tom Cruise. Okay, Bill Hader morphing into Tom Cruise. So, uh, <laughs> it's pretty convincing, actually. And so, uh, there's, there's going to be probably some embedded stuff put into any app that could identify that it was uh, made that way. So, so later on, you can tell, tell whether it's real or not, but uh, it presents a real big problem. And right now, it looks like they're limiting it to a couple of clips that are about eight seconds long. They probably build a little mask onside the clip. Um, here's one where it looks like they did it in a movie. Okay, This guy did it from Zhao. And they generally create a little mask of the face, track it for eight seconds and something, and then they take whatever selfie they're doing and put it on the mask so it looks like them. Okay, and then they, with one selfie, you can do it without the mouth open and you can map, match it. But they ask you if you want to do it better, you got to upload more pictures to cover all the cases where the clip covers, like the mouth opening, the eyes opening, closing, things like that. So it's not where it can just take a selfie, put it on any video, and this can happen. But eventually, with face, facial tracking technology, I believe that will be possible, kind of like what happened with speaker independent voice. So you can take a look at some of this. Uh, stuff that's going on with this company Zao. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, here's another um, company. Deep fake tech turns a single photo and audio file into a single video, a singing video portrait. Okay, so imagine they could take a snapshot from you 
<laughs> from Facebook and then uh, make it do something like this. The common language of science. The first step towards language was... Okay, let's go back and see if they show a picture of what they started with here at the beginning. Yeah, they just started with a basic picture of him. And uh, this one, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. They made this Rasputin. You probably don't know who that is. Is an age a figure in uh, old history? But those walls are built. And here he is singing Beyonce song. Okay, just to show that they can put any voice with it uh, to make that happen. Okay, so and then uh, this is kind of an intro in the commercial market. What's happening with Android phones and things like that? What they're going to be able to do <clears throat> and can do now. I want to introduce you to an entire um, effort that's being put together. Let me zoom to the top here. Uh, called Digital Humans. It's uh, being pushed by the gaming industry. Epic Games in particular uh, called Unreal Engine. I have this engine. I work with it. So I'm very familiar with this. This is kind of how I stumbled onto this. Because in trying to tell a story, a screenplay, anything like that, if you want to have a character that's an animation, unless you're an absolute pro and you've got a whole lot of time on your hands to make the face match the emotions and every movement of the face with the voice. It's quite an undertaking, let me tell you. It's not easy. So automated tools that do this uh, were very much needed. And little did I realize, here's uh, one of the famous ones uh, done by Three Lateral. This is the company that did the facial animation for Andy, uh, Andy Zirkus. Zirkus. He did this at one of the gaming shows and showed how realistic you could do the facial mapping technology to a human face, but also that it would work on any avatar. Okay, I don't know if you've seen that on YouTube. It's uh, it's uh, quite amazing. So I'm just now getting to the place where I'm thinking about, I want to upgrade my technology to be able to make my characters look more real. And this is what I stumbled into. Okay. So here's some of the videos you can watch uh, of some of these realistic ones. So let's just play a little clip of this one so you get an idea. Okay. Of what we're talking about. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creep sickness. Petty pace. Okay, so you get an idea what that one can do. And then I wanted to show you, it's really uh, kind of entering the gaming industry big time. This one's called The Rise of Rome. And this one looks like it was developed by uh, Three Lateral. It's, I found it under their projects here. They probably did this project for one of their customers, and it looks like they helped the gaming industry do uh, character faces, games, motions, and things like that. So uh, it's quite interesting. Let's see, let's see this one real quick so you get an idea. The Senate is nothing but frightened old men. They no longer listen to truth nor reason. Okay, I'm not going to do too much of it so I don't infringe on their copyright. It's probably free on YouTube. Was that on YouTube? No, it's on Vimeo. So anyway, I want to give you an idea of what's possible, what's going on with this ability to make a digital um, avatar seem real. And I've wanted to do this ever since I got involved with uh, iClone. So I'm going to open iClone for you just real quick so you can see uh, what we're talking about here. And I'll show you how quickly I can add an avatar, put a voice to it, and make its face and do a quasi decent job of some text, but uh, it's uh, it's not like what I just showed you here. These these require a facial rig that normally mounts uh, to the person. Okay, and uh, we're inside iClone. Let's go see if we can find us an avatar. We can do this with real quick. It's a this is off the cuff. I didn't think I was going to do this for you. I don't even. <laughs> let's just find somebody here. Uh, Okay, here's Zane. We'll use Zane. And we'll just give him uh, a voice I did today for headline news. Okay, just for instance. Uh, let's get to see him in the front here. Let's get up in his face so you can see what's going on. And we'll uh, first give him a, a script so he talks. Okay, let's create a script. Let's get the audio file. Um, I did one headline news here today. Let's just see what that does. So I'm just going to add that to him. Okay. Um, all right. And then basically we we can play it. He's not going to move, but I can do that too. Here, let's get up here to his face. That's all we're interested in. Okay. Well, let's do it. 
Headline news with the brain, where Big G disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode. Okay, his emotions were pretty bland, but we can fix that real easy too. Watch this. <laughs> so, suppose we want him to be um, happy. Let's make him kind of happy like this, and let's see what he looks like when he talks now. Headline news with the brain, where Big G disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode. Okay, and then we can also change the level of expression. Okay, we can say, well, let's take him down. Let's take him down a little bit. Let's take him right back here where he's talking. And right here, maybe we want him to get really excited. Okay, so we can do that too. And then we can change the level of expression. So you can see that uh, this technology is getting to where um, it's going to be pretty easy to fool people pretty soon. And I could do all kinds of things to doctor up the lighting and things like now while he's talking. Well, let's just watch it up close and see what happens now. Okay. Just see how quickly you can do this. Headline news with the brain where Big G disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode. Okay. Now we're missing the fact that he's not looking at the camera. We'll just leave that. Let's just make him look at the camera and see how different it is now. Okay. Watch this. <laughs> okay. So let's go down here. Tell him to look at the camera. Okay, there he is. And we can even move the camera. Let's create a camera. Okay, so we can even move the camera from the start to the end. Let's go to about right here. And that's pretty good, right about there. We'll just make it about that long, pretty slow. Okay, and then we'll just make the camera zoom in. Whoop, that's a little too much. Make it zoom out, and then we'll move it over here so you can see watch its head follow the camera okay okay well actually we'll just start it out over here at the beginning and then go like that okay so now watch him follow the camera ready okay headline oh. news oh, we got to tell him to look at the camera there we go headline news with the brain where big g disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode Okay, and if we really want him to look a little more like he's paying attention to us, we can change how much the head looks versus the eyes look, okay? So we can have him just look at his, with his eyes and watch it, watch those follow. Headline news with the brain, where Big G disarms the censorship axe bearers every episode. Yeah, and then if we wanted his head looking at the camera more, we'd turn him over like that, okay? So you can see as an example of what, what's possible here, and I just wanted to give you a, an idea. So... Um, think about it. Um, it's possible that this program could replace uh, every actor and cause all kinds of consternations and uh, defaming other people and things like that. So don't believe your eyes when you watch a video anymore is what I'm telling you. This has been Gerald Clark with Headlines with a Brain. We'll catch you next time. Why is it important for parents to take responsibility for structure problems at birth? It's simple, to enable the child to grow into a body that has a great chance of finding a relationship with gravity before the lumps and bruises of our material lives start disordering the fascia further. Our most effective role as a parent is to notice and fan the potential flames that would inspire our kids so they can experience it fully. Try the hat on, if you will for the potential roles they will play in the future. This is how to empower them to be what they came here to be. Is your baby a gravity body baby? We as parents do not know what the child's future holds. So the more we can do to remove hindrances to an optimal experience, the better. Addressing our children's structural limitations early allows them to get acquainted with gravity as a friend versus an enemy. When reordering a newborn child's fossil body, parents can provide an excellent chance for the energetic template that works with the DNA to make the body's complex material form match. This is how it should be. Energetic template and the meat synchronized. Imagine a child that has a proper relationship to gravity early. Enable them, them to be good at any sport or movement modality they choose to explore, such as being a soccer star, a wingsuit pilot, an MMA fighter, or a hero. Gravity Body Online School provides the parental team the best structural integration educational resources to help their future champion. 
when they need it the most before beginning to walk with a deviant and disordered body. At GBA, we offer the very best online resources for all things structural with a complete set of videos and handbooks with options to number one, learn the GBA online school material and use it with your kids and family at your own pace. Two, parents partner up and trade SI work with each other. This is one of the best gifts that keeps on giving forever. Couples that share SI with each other are unknowingly helping to prevent future doctor visits by finding a relationship with gravity and dealing with their musculoskeletal pain. Once the structural principles are clear and some experience is gained, consider offering the gift of SI to family members and friends. Number three, dedicate yourself to learning the material as a student with a mission for community service. Our testing is automated and always available when and if you want to get certified, which is also automated and integrated in the course. We can help you with the business aspects as a Gravity Body Academy community minister running a holistic healing practice.